So what do you think of my new hat? It's pretty cool, hey? I got it from, uh, from Georgia. I've just come back. I came back a week ago, uh, like I said in my last or second last video. Uh, went over there to visit some friends and uh, brush up on my Georgian and my Russian. And man, it is just, it has changed so much. You know, I was there, um, I think I was there about four or five years ago. And uh, I, was, I was in Georgia shortly after the, um, shortly after Russia had invaded um, South Ossetia and Abkhazia, which are two, two parts or two provinces of, um, of Georgia. Um, so I was there just shortly after that last time and man, the country has just changed so much. You know, back then, um, you know, you can just really tell it was a country that had been affected very recently by war. You know, and now, like, I went back over there and uh, you know, there's so many Russian tourists and uh, the country just is so much more back on its feet. Um, it was just incredible, you know, everywhere I went, everybody, everybody firstly spoke to me in Russian, you know, before English. Because there's just been such a spike of Russian tourism um, in Georgia that um, I guess everybody just assumes that you're from there. <clears throat> so we went... Um, my fiance and I went up to we went into Tbilisi, we went into Rostavi where um, where I lived last time, and caught up with some friends, some Georgian friends of mine, uh, which was amazing because the last time I was there, there were you know members of the of the family that um, don't speak English. My Georgian was not strong enough at all to speak very much to them, so I couldn't really get to know them on a personal level. And I went back there, and uh, you know of course that generation is fluent in Russian, so. Now, like, after this time, since last time, you know, becoming fluent in Russian, I was able to get to know these people on a personal level, and it was just such a special time for me. So special. So, hung out with them, and we made uh, Church Hela, which is a... Um, I'll, I'll show you a picture if I can. It's like a sausage candy thing they make from wine, uh, from wine dough, or from grape dough, grape juice dough. Um, really amazing, like it's delicious um, and yeah we get to make it and that was really fun. And then we went to, went did wine tours and, and learned how the Georgians make wine. They actually, uh, they've got a very traditional, very unique way of making wine where they actually put clay pots in the ground and um, they, they nurture the grapes, they put the grapes in and just nurture them for, for nine, eight or nine months until it ferments. Um, very unique way of making wine, absolutely delicious and not very well known around the world. Um, so I did that and then we headed up to Kazbegi which is um, which is up on the Russian border. It's um, just stunning beautiful Alp, Alpine area. Uh, we're just staying in front of uh, Mount Kazbeg which is uh, which is about 5,000 meters elevation. And it's about 6,000 uh, 16,000 feet elevation, which is almost the same as Base Camp 1 in Everest, so it's pretty high. Um, and yeah, just tons of Russian tourists there, got to practice my Russian a lot, we did a lot of hiking, uh, hiking up the mountains, and uh, yeah, over overall it was just a truly special trip, and uh, really beautiful place, just such a beautiful place. I, uh, like I said in my last video, you know, if you haven't been there before, I just strongly urge and encourage you to go there. It's a, it's a very affordable holiday destination and it is so beautiful.